initially I resisted from having an iPad because I, I thought they took away from the kind of the personal aspect and the personal touch. Uh, I thought it would be interesting to trial the iPads in the classroom just to see whether that new technology does actually make much difference or whether it's just um, an extension on a laptop. Uh, so I wanted to see if it really did bring anything new to the classroom and for the students in their learning. It's really, it's, it's really an exciting uh, period of time in ICT and education and the iPad is leading the way with changing the way we think about technology. Because iPads, they really help you in learning and they're actually a faster way than computers and laptops. My class were been using iPads like making, taking videos and uploading it to YouTube and it's very fast to do it and you can cut off parts that you don't want. I think it's quite easy personally because I've got my iPad at home and also because they, they only have very basic controls so I think it's quite easy. The iPad let us play mass games. It's way fun and you have games and you you can type stuff where you want to know on YouTube or Google, it's nice. We, oh, we, we use iPad by like searching information. Yeah. In computer, when you are gone, you have to wait for like a quiet while, but then in um, iPad, you just have to click um, the internet, then you can like go to the internet. Yeah. iPads are good at funnest since uh, like it's quicker for it to get like turn it turn it on instead of a computer. I like the iPads because it's easy to take them out if you need to work some uh, um, out from the class and there you can do videos and reading demos. It, you can do research and everything the same on the computer and then they're, they're really easy they're quite light. Um. I use i our class used iPad to find things, find animals that with pictures and find and there is some clues and we find them like that. Yeah, um, what I thought was great with the iPad too, as opposed to the classroom computers, was the student ease. I mean, they were very iPad savvy, and those that even didn't have it learned very quickly. That. Um, Whereas the classroom computers can sometimes take a bit of time to set up, a bit of time to click on, they'll quite often come to me and say, oh, this isn't working. Whereas I didn't find that with the iPad. They were pretty much able to um, look after themselves. The batteries are great for a classroom computer. Um, I guess we've all at times get halfway through a lesson and it's cut out, you needed to go and plug it in. And that's not a big hassle, but it's, you have to turn everything on again and load everything up and that takes five, ten minutes whereas um, the battery on an iPad will go all day. And I've been using the iPad uh, lots lately. Um, I especially use it for with a program that's called Coach's Eye and that allows me to video the students um, and then instantly uh, together with them play back what they uh, see and what they do so that they can get visual feedback instead of my verbal feedback on what they do. And she's not familiar with the concept of fractions and she certainly didn't have the vocabulary either. So the iPad was really useful in that I was able to use a tool, uh, to an application to create a lesson specifically designed for her that she could then uh, follow through independently and the lesson helped her to understand the concepts better. It helped her to learn the words and to practice speaking the words uh, by herself and then to record what she found out in her own book. So iPads um, have a really sort of had a big impact on sort of learning at school. Um, it's sort of been really interesting to watch how kids interact with them and the way different learning experiences have changed. They can move everywhere. They're not something which a teacher has to say, oh, you need to sort of put back in the cart or something. It's something that can be used anywhere, anytime. And My friend has an iPad and he lent it to me for a couple of days. I tried it out, used it reluctantly, and actually grew to love it more and more each time I used it. 
but they could have instant feedback from looking at the iPad and actually visually see that, that perhaps they, the moving picture wasn't as they envisaged in their mind. And immediately after that, they can correct it. Absolutely. I think they've been um, an incredible tool uh, that, for many reasons. Yep. Parents have loved it. Parents were extremely impressed when they saw what their students were able to do, what the kids were able to do. Um, and it's helped them stay more informed about what's happening in the classroom. The iPads we used Doodle Buddy to demonstrate procedural writing in terms of taking turns giving instructions. The students then drew according to the instructions and then we used Photobabble again to do more reflection. Um, apart from that we also were able to use them um, as reading centers, listening centers. Children intrinsically know how to use them. They can be personalized for children or for classrooms. There's an endless uh, array of applications, programs. They're highly motivating. I'm enthusiastic about iPads because I think they're, you know, for one, they're fantastic learning tools for kids. You know, being able to interact with something that's fun and stimulating and interesting, especially for the EAL learners, has, you know, in my experience so far, having a, having a trial with them has been, you know, great. It's kind of, you know, it becomes one with you as a user, whereas a laptop, you know, you're kind of interacting through a device, uh, through a machine, and it, it feels that way, whether it's through the mouse or whatever. It, it's part of today, and it's certainly going to be part of the future uh, coming. And, you know, to expose kids to these skills at an early age and be able to identify with these skills and applications now is certainly going to, you know, only promote their development and their ability to relate with technology in a way that maybe they wouldn't have before. Can an iPad type as well as a laptop? Can I do this as well as I did on a desktop? And we believe that's the wrong question to ask. The right question is, what amazing new things can you do with iPads? I want iPads in my classroom, and I think that NIST being an exceptional school to bring it up to also an exceptional level in technology, we're on our way, but also including Mac technology would, would get us there. I like to use it more at school. Yay, I'm mad!